Hello everyone, welcome back to my additional math channel. So today I will share with you the application of differentiation. So uh, for this uh, video teaching, I will share with you the first application of the differentiation. As you know, differentiation we got four type of application. So the first one is actually the application on the gradient of tangent, gradient of normal, equation of tangent, equation of normal, and then the type of the tangent. So have fun. Today, uh, I would like to teach you all on application of differentiation. So this topic is actually very, very challenging. So when we talk about application of differentiation, that means you must master all the skills of differentiation. Okay, uh, remember, uh, you have to know all the rules. Example, power rule, how you differentiate, you the x is n a x n minus one and also we have power rule right we have the quotient rule right okay d o o d all this i teach in my previous lesson you can refer to the video i have shared many videos about basic skills of differentiation so today i would like to teach you all on application of differentiation which many students actually are very scared of this topic so it's okay let's uh, try our best okay now actually application of differentiation uh, very useful in our daily life let's uh, see this one the building the building of the roller coaster right example you go to uh, Genting Highland you you play the roller coaster so actually uh, is apply the concept of differentiation do you know that all right um, now let's go through the building of a roller coaster not only takes uh, safety into consideration but also uses maximum enjoyment out of the ride each point on the track is specially designed to achieve this objective point on the track track is the curve right now which technique do we need in order to determine the gradient at each of the point gradient at each of the point see that okay so it seems that dydx is applying in the roller coaster gradient of each point right along the track track is actually the curve of this roller coaster right now today's uh, first application is you must know the gradient of tangent to the curve at different points it's actually represented by dy dx okay remember this uh, highlight this dy dx means gradient of tangent to a curve at the point now okay we have uh, already learned uh, that gradient of a curve at a point all right i have highlighted this one many times gradient of a curve at a point is also gradient of tangent at a point right the tangent changes different point on a curve so do you understand this sentence uh, consider that the function uh, a very simple function like y equal to x square so if you differentiate right dy dx you get 2x right the gradient function you can write as f prime x is used to determine the gradient of tangent to the curve at any point that means each point on the curve it actually got its own gradient right okay let's understand the concept so let's say this is the curve y equal to x squared so at x equal to negative 2 okay if you substitute uh, dx is 2x right 
x prime x is 2x1 so 2x so if you substitute negative 2 you, you, you got a gradient negative 4 meaning what meaning that at x equal to negative 2 here you see the blue line there the tangent is actually going down so the gradient of the blue line is negative 2 that's a meaning okay when x equal to negative 1 the gradient is actually negative 2 uh, uh, if x equal to negative 2 the gradient is negative 4 right all right when x equal to 0 here you see the uh, tangent is like this so uh, if you substitute 0 2 times 0 will be 0 right so the gradient of tangent is 0 it's logic like it's a it's a flat horizontal line so you don't have any gradient when x equal to 1 the gradient is positive going up right you see the blue line going up and uh, when x equal to 2 the gradient is 4 you see the line slanting, slanting to the right right okay understand so that means the x means the gradient of the blue line which is tangent to the curve at each point so the diagram on the right shows the gradient of tangent to the curve at uh, five different points so each different point we actually got its own gradient right in general the types of gradient of tangents okay and the properties of the tangent to a curve at a point is summarized as below so let's see this one very uh, very useful the tangent line slants to the left slant to the left the dy dx will having the value negative right okay let me highlight to you this is the blue line the this is the tangent slant to the left right okay so the gradient is actually dy dx right this is actually dy dx is less than zero obviously it's negative the gradient for the line going down is negative so dy dx means gradient okay then for this one you see or not you see the line is horizontal so dy dx is equal to zero right so so we say first we can say first derivative at that point point a is equal to zero same meaning all right so for this one you see the blue line is actually slanting to the right right so the dy dx is actually uh, positive because the gradient is uh, positive for the blue line so what is dy dx dy dx is the gradient of the blue line because actually gradient uh, of the curve at a point is actually the same with the gradient of the blue line right because all the points lies on the same line are having the same gradient all right so please remember this one is very important concept okay can understand i highlight to you negative point negative sorry negative gradient uh, dy dx will be less than zero zero gradient dy dx will be equal to zero positive gradient dy dx will be more than zero all right again i highlight to you if it is negative okay negative okay uh, let me make it uh, negative normally it's red color negative gradient less than zero okay if positive if uh, zero it will be equal to zero gradient dy dx will be equal to zero if it is positive it is positive gradient positive the dy dx will be more than zero can memorize okay this is very important concept so we're going to apply this concept in solving the problem so let's say um we have a few questions here so if I want you to do this question, I think you should know how to do, right? Okay, so I think this is quite easy. Find the gradient of tangent at x equal to 1 over 4 and x equal to 1. So your first step is when you see tangent, uh, gradient of tangent, you just do dy dx, alright? So now let's uh, do one question. So we will find the dy dx. Do you know how to find dy dx? You know right so this is actually we change to ax and 9x1 plus x negative 1 right so if you do dy dx you get 9 right minus x minus 2 right okay 
so then you try to convert to this simplest form before you substitute x equal to 1 over 4 and x equal to 1 then you get the answer it's very easy right and then for each of the uh, x coordinates take the condition of gradient of tangent to the curve that means you have to write is it positive or negative or is uh, is actually a uh, horizontal so when you substitute you will find the value and state whether it is positive or negative or equal to zero subsequently find the coordinate point where the tangent tangent line is horizontal means what okay this is horse tangent line is horizontal it means that turning point right so okay for this question it's quite simple i think everyone can do right so you substitute one over four inside here so i do here so the x is nine minus okay uh, this one is square right where's my square all right nine minus one over one over 1 over 4 square right so it's 9 minus 1 over 16 so if you inverse this one will be 9 minus 16 so it's negative 7 that means the gradient is uh, slanting to the left right so the gradient of the tangent is slanting to the left with the m is negative okay that is so called condition of the tangent to the curve okay now if x equal to 1 so you substitute again when x equal to 1 okay this one just now is x equal to 1 over 4 so when x equal to 1 so dy dx is 9 minus 1 over 1 squared okay so it's 9 minus 1 so it's 8 so it's positive the, the gradient is slanting to the right right so this is positive okay now for each of the okay we have state the condition of the tangent to the curve then uh, when tangent line is uh, horizontal so we will let dy dx equal to zero right so let's see we have the dy dx uh, tangent line horizontal you understand this it's like this tangent line horizontal so it's the case like i, I show you it's not actually uh, we have this class so I just revise a uh, revise back yes this one this case this is actually the case that I want to highlight to you this is so-called tangent line the blue line is horizontal right so when it is horizontal you must let the dy dx equal to zero right or first derivative equal to zero now so our dy dx is 9 minus 1 over x square right so we will let the dy dx equal to 0 okay 9 minus 1 over x square so 0 equal to 9 minus 1 over x square so 1 over x square is equal to 9 right okay you bring this thing to the uh, left so that means x square actually you cross multiply like this like this okay so x square is 1 over 9 wow so you should you should have one or two value two you have plus and minus so there are two uh, the, the question is asking you the coordinate of the point on the curve where gradient of tangent is zero so you have two point you know so one is when x is one third you have to find your y when x is negative one third you have to find your y right so you should have to answer so nine your y is here nine x plus one over x x more than zero so x more than zero the question c okay so that means we reject this one because the question say x more than zero so this one we rejected okay so now we need to find the y value which is 9x plus 1 over x so we will just uh, substitute will be 9x 
okay plus 1 over 1 3 right so it's not x plus 1 over x right so you get the answer for y is you can simplify okay let's simplify uh, you can cut the here 1 here 3 here is 3 right inverse up so 3 so the answer is 6 so that means the coordinate is you supposed to write is 1 over 3 and 6 all right so this is the answer for the coordinate of the point on the curve where tangent is horizontal understand okay all right so i would like to share with you another question so let's do another hot question this one yes so i would like to share this one okay uh, this one is a hot question so you must know hi guys today uh, i would like to teach you all on application of differentiation so this topic is actually very very challenging so when we talk about application of differentiation that means you must master all the skills of differentiation okay uh, remember uh, you have to know all the rules example power rule how you differentiate you are the x is and a x n minus one and also we have power rule right we have the quotient rule right okay d o o d all this i teach in my previous lesson you can refer to the video i have shared many videos about basic skills of differentiation so today i would like to teach you all on application of differentiation which many students actually are very scared of this topic so it's okay let's uh, try our best okay now actually application of differentiation uh, very useful in our daily life let's uh, see this one the building the building of the roller coaster right example you go to uh, Genting Highland you you play the roller coaster so actually uh, is apply the concept of differentiation do you know that all right um now let's go through the building of a roller coaster not only takes uh, safety into consideration but also uses maximum enjoyment out of the ride each point on the track is specially designed to achieve this objective point on the track track is the curve right now, which technique do we need in order to determine the gradient at each of the point? Gradient at each of the point, see that? Okay, so it seems that DYDX is applying in the roller coaster. Gradient of each point, right? Along the track, track is actually the curve of this roller coaster, right? Now, today's uh, first application is you must know the gradient of tangent to the curve at different points is actually represented by dy dx okay remember this uh, highlight this dy dx means gradient of tangent to a curve at the point now okay we have uh, already learned uh, that gradient of a curve at a point all right i have highlighted this one many times Gradient of a curve at a point is also gradient of tangent at a point, right? The tangent changes different point on a curve. So, do you understand this sentence? Uh, consider that the function, a uh, very simple function like y equal to x square. So, if you differentiate, right, dy dx, you get 2x, right? The gradient function, you can write as f prime x, is used to determine the gradient of tangent to the curve at any point. That means each point on the curve it actually got its own gradient right okay let's understand the concept so let's say this is the curve y equal to x squared so at x equal to negative 2 okay if you substitute uh, the x is 2x right 
f prime x is 2x1 so 2x so if you substitute negative 2 you, you, you got a gradient negative 4 meaning what meaning that at x equal to negative 2 here you see the blue line there the tangent is actually going down so the gradient of the blue line is negative 2 that's the meaning okay when x equal to negative 1 the gradient is actually negative 2 uh, uh, if x equal to negative 2 the gradient is negative 4 right all right when x equal to 0 here you see the uh, tangent is like this so uh, if you substitute 0 2 times 0 will be 0 right so the gradient of tangent is 0 it's logic right it's a it's a flat horizontal line so you don't have any gradient when x equal to 1 the gradient is positive going up right you see the blue line going up and uh, when x equal to 2 the gradient is 4 you see the line slanting, slanting to the right right okay understand so that means the ODS means the gradient of the blue line which is tangent to the curve at each point so the diagram on the right shows the gradient of tangent to the curve at uh, five different points so each different point we actually got its own gradient right in general the types of gradient of tangents okay and the properties of the tangent to a curve at a point is summarized as below so let's see this one very uh, very useful the tangent line slants to the left slant to the left the dy dx will having the value negative right okay let me highlight to you this is the blue line the this is the tangent slant to the left right okay so the gradient is actually dy dx right this is actually dy dx is less than zero obviously it's negative the gradient for the line going down is negative so dy dx means gradient okay then for this one you see a lot you see the line is horizontal so dy dx is equal to zero right so so we say first we can say first derivative at that point point a is equal to zero same mean all right so for this one you see the blue line is actually slanting to the right right so the dy dx is actually uh, positive because the gradient is uh, positive for the blue line so what is dy dx dy dx is the gradient of the blue line because actually gradient uh, of the curve at a point is actually the same with the gradient of the blue line right because all the points lies on the same line are having the same gradient right so please remember this one is very important concept okay can understand i highlight to you negative point negative sorry negative gradient uh, dy dx will be less than zero zero gradient dy dx will be equal to zero positive gradient dy dx will be more than zero all right again i highlight to you if it is negative okay negative okay uh, let me make it uh, negative normally it's red color negative gradient less than zero okay if positive if uh, zero it will be equal to zero gradient dy dx will be equal to zero if it is positive it is positive gradient positive the dy dx will be more than zero can memorize okay this is very important concept so we're going to apply this concept in solving the problem so let's say um, we have a few questions here so if I want you to do this question I think you should know how to do right okay so I think this is quite easy find the gradient of tangent at x equal to 1 over 4 and x equal to 1 so your first step is when you see tangent uh, gradient of tangent you just do dy dx all right so now let's uh, do one question so you'll find the dy dx do you know how to find dy dx you know right so this is actually we change to ax and 9x1 plus x negative 1 right so if you do dy dx you get 9 right minus x minus 2 right okay 
So then you try to convert to this simplest form before you substitute x equal to 1 over 4 and x equal to 1. Then you get the answer. It's very easy, right? And then for each of the uh, x coordinates, take the condition of gradient or tangent to the curve. That means you have to write is it positive or negative or is uh, is actually uh, horizontal. So when you substitute, you will find the value and state whether it is positive or negative or equal to zero. Subsequently, find the coordinate point where the tangent tangent line is horizontal means what? Okay, this is hot. Tangent line is horizontal. It means that turning point, right? So, okay. For this question, it's quite simple. I think everyone can do, right? So, you substitute 1 over 4 inside here. So, I do here. So, dy dx is 9 minus. Okay. Uh, this one is square, right? Where's my square? Alright, 9 minus 1 over 1 over 1 over 4 Square, right? So it's 9 minus 1 over 16 So if you inverse this one, it will be 9 minus 16 So it's negative 7 That means the gradient is uh, slanting to the left, right? So the gradient of the tangent is slanting to the left With the M is negative Okay, that is so-called condition of the tangent to the curve. Okay, now if x equal to 1, so you substitute again. When x equal to 1, okay, this one just now is x equal to 1 over 4. So when x equal to 1, so dy dx is 9 minus 1 over 1 squared. Okay, so it's 9 minus 1, so it's 8. So it's positive, the, the gradient is slanting to the right right so this is positive okay now for each of the okay we have stated the condition of the tangent to the curve then uh, when tangent line is uh, horizontal so we will let dy dx equal to zero right so let's see we have the dy dx uh, tangent line horizontal you understand this it's like this tangent line horizontal so it's the case like I, I show you just now actually uh, we have this cast so I just device a uh, revise back yes this one this case this is actually the case that I want to highlight to you this is so-called tangent line the blue line is horizontal right so when it is horizontal you must let the dy dx equal to 0, right? Or first derivative equal to 0. Now, so our dy dx is 9 minus 1 over x squared, right? So we will let the dy dx equal to 0. Okay, 9 minus 1 over x squared. So 0 equal to 9 minus 1 over x squared. So 1 over x squared is equal to 9, right? Okay, you bring this thing to the uh, left so that means x square actually you cross multiply like this like this okay so x square is 1 over 9 wow so you should you should have one or two value two you have plus and minus so there are two uh, the, the question is asking you the coordinate of the point on the curve where gradient of tangent is zero so you have two points you know so one is when x is one third you have to find your y when x is negative one third you have to find your y right so you should have two answer so nine your y is here nine x plus one over x x more than zero so x more than zero the question is say okay so that means we reject this one because the question say x more than zero so this one we rejected okay so now we need to find the y value which is 9x plus 1 over x so we will just uh, substitute will be 9x 
okay plus 1 over 1 3 right so it's not x plus 1 over x right so you get the uh, answer for y is you can simplify okay let's simplify uh, you can cut the here 1 here 3 here is 3 right inverse up so 3 so the answer is 6 so that means the coordinate is you supposed to write is 1 over 3 and 6 all right so this is the answer for the coordinate of the point on the curve where tangent is horizontal understand okay all right so i would like to share with you another question so let's do another horse question this one yes so i would like to share this one okay uh, this one is a hot question, so you must know how to do it's a very hot question and very important question for additional max So now I would like to share with you how to do the hot question if I free I will share more now. Let's see this one. This is totally uh, um, Hot Okay, hot Okay Hot question Right. Okay, now you see when you have the curve, okay, when you have a curve and a line touches the curve, you always think of the dy dx, alright? I don't let it equal to zero, alright? It's just dy dx. Gradient of tangent, okay, to the curve at a point is dy dx. It is not zero unless it is turning point, alright? So don't simply make it zero, right? So let's read the question. The diagram on the right, right? See the diagram on the right shows the uh, bracelet, which is represented by the curve. Okay, the curve. And then a point. Okay, you have point A and point B, right? You have two points located on the bracelet. And then the line AC is the tangent. Can you see the line AC is a blue color? Okay, at point A and the line BC is a normal. Okay, the normal is in green color. Alright, so I use a green color highlight. Normal. Tangent? Tangent is in blue color. Let me find the blue color. Okay, the tangent is AC. Okay. So the blue and yellow become green. Okay, so now I, I would like to change the color. Let me erase. Okay, line AC is a uh, blue color, right? So I, I need to uh, identify the blue color. I need to highlight to you that uh, tangent is actually in blue color, you know. So you must be very sure this one is actually this line A to C and then BC BC is is normal okay BC is normal so there are two different types of that line and the curve is in yellow color alright so now uh, two, uh, two ends there are two ends can you see there are two ends there okay the two ends move now we study the movement of the end along the line AC so that means uh, the ends is using the blue line and the green line one is the tangent and one is the normal okay it's moving along the uh, AC and BC and they meet at point C this is a story so that's why we call it as hot so they meet uh, at here okay the two ends the two ends meet here okay the two ends meet here at the point C so now the question is asking you so basically you must know how to find the equation of the tangent at point A okay you must know how to find the equation of tangent at point A and you must also how uh, know how to find the equation of normal okay equation of normal at the point B 
Okay, this is very basic. You must know. Okay, the equation of normal at point B is actually a straight line. Tangent also a straight line. So when you form the equation, it's always using y equal to mx plus c. And then in additional max, in additional max, remember what I say. When you see meet, when you see meet, intersect meet, you always do simultaneous. Solve the two equations simultaneously. When two point or two line meet, okay. Now you see, uh, we actually need to differentiate the curve in order to find the gradient of tangent, which is dy dx. Alright, so I'm sure everyone know how to differentiate at this stage. Right, so let's differentiate. So you got x squared, so it become 2x, right? Minus 3x, so minus 3, right? When you see constant, is 0, right? Okay, so everyone know how to do, right? 2x minus 3. Now, uh, okay, uh, this is actually uh, tangent, gradient of tangent. So we can say at the point A, we can find the gradient. At point A here, so dy dx at the point A is two times one minus three, right? So it's negative one. That's why the line is going down. The line is slanting to the left. So we need to form the equation. Okay, now listen. In order to form the equation, you have learned this in mathematics. If you want to form the equation, you need gradient, right? Isn't it? Your teacher, your math teacher will say you must have gradient, and you must have the c. Right, C. How to find the C? C, you see, you, your, you want to find the C, you must use a point lies on the blue line, which is the equation of tangent. So we will use a point, we will use a point A, okay? Because point A, you must use a point lies on the equation. Okay, now I'm going to substitute the point A into the um, y equal to ms plus C. So let me find a space to do. So I want to find the equation of the blue line. So I will write y equal to mx plus c, right? Because a normal and tangent are straight line. So you can always use this one. Okay? So y is 2, right? So 2. Gradient is just now you found already negative 1. x is 1, right? Plus c. So c is 2 plus 1 which is 3 right so it's quite logic because here is actually below the 4 so that means your this line is y equal to negative x plus 3 got it that's equation of tangent so you can write okay the equation of tangent is negative x plus 3 settle right okay now we need to find the uh, equation for the green line okay green line where's the green line here let me highlight the green line for you can you see here uh, make it thicker a bit can you see here okay this is equation of normal normal right not tangent so in order to find this the green equation you must have the uh, you must have the tangent first because you know when you want to find the normal gradient normal you must find the uh, tangent first okay let's uh, highlight where is the tangent for point b it should be here can you see that the one in blue i change to yellow this one uh, not so logic so i do again because you know why not logic because uh, the the normal and the tangent must be uh, perpendicular so basically uh, I must make it um, looks like 90 degree right so that you you will see the logics is there okay so I will assume that they are making the right angle the yellow and the green okay now we cannot find the gradient for the green line uh, Direct, we can only find the gradient for the yellow line you know because the yellow line is actually the tangent which is actually dy dx all right so i'm going to show to you the way to find the uh, gradient 
for the yellow line so I show to you I'm going to find the gradient for the yellow line so I, I have uh, no no way I have to use differentiation because I don't have two points so differentiation just now we have uh, 2x minus 3 right you can use back 2x minus 3 follow the curve just now 2x minus 3 use back this one just substitute the point inside at the point B you have a 3 right so, so you substitute the 3 2 times 3 minus 3 that means you are having the gradient at the point B is 6 minus is 3 you can write as m1 and then quickly you you got the m1 already right the yell the yellow line is m1 and the green line is actually normal okay uh, so the gradient for the normal okay is m2 and as you know m1 m2 always perpendicular always uh, when you multiply you get you get what you get negative one right so very easy you i teach you how to how to read this one is three over one right so if you want to find your m2 you just if this is positive right this is positive here must be negative if three over one then the one must go up three go down why because when you multiply these two number these two number you must get the product of negative one all right that's why you can inverse you can change the sign if positive you get negative all right so this is actually this is actually very important which is your gradient of the what normal okay okay once you got the no gradient you want to form the equation you always write this one then you go to the line and find the point is there a point lies on the normal so let's see God, where is the point yeah the green line is actually passes through the point 3 4 it's on the green line the 3 4 right can you see that let me show you the 3 4 is here right 3 4 so it is on the green line so you can use it so we will put 3 4 we we'll substitute 3 4 here we we'll substitute into the equation 4 here M must be the normal. Don't use a tangent. You must be very sure what is what. So negative one over three, then three plus c. So the c is cut cut five. Okay. So your equation will be uh, y equal to negative one over three x plus five right so this is so-called equation of the normal right okay after you find the equation of normal at the point b so you have two equation ready right this one number two just now you have one ready right which is uh y equal to negative x plus three let me let me write down so we have the equation of the uh tangent which is negative x plus 3 right okay so this is the equation of tangent the blue line then we have found out the equation of the uh, green line which is equation of the normal which is y equal to y equal to negative 1 over 3x right plus 5 so uh, now these two lines actually intersect okay intersect uh, the, the green line the green line is heading this way and the blue line is heading this way so they intersect at this point so when meet or intersect we use simultaneous so one and two okay so we have like term here this one y y so we can just minus right so i take one minus two or you can use substitution one minus two so i just minus like this very easy i like to use elimination so you minus okay make sure you do carefully when you use uh, elimination you need to be careful one minus one is zero okay here here is negative x 
I better write down. Is negative x minus 1, negative 1 over 3x plus 3 minus 5, like this. Okay, so be careful. Okay, if you think you cannot, you can use the substitution like this. Okay, minus 2, right? 3 minus 1. So finally, you get this is negative 3x over 3 plus 1 over 3x. The two I bring to the other side. Alright, so I will have the answer. Two is negative two x over three. So finally my x is negative three. Cut here, cut here. So my x is negative three. That looks uh check whether is it logic or not. Yeah, it looks like quite logic. It's going to the negative side, isn't it? So, it seems like quite logic, right? See, this point is actually heading to negative 3. This is negative 4, quite close to negative 4. Okay, now we need to find the y. In order to find the y, you can substitute into any equation because they are actually at the same uh, equation. So, I will choose which one is easy. I choose number 1. So, y equal to negative x plus 3. So, y is negative uh, negative 3 be careful so the y is positive right if i look at the graph logically it's positive right so if i get something which is negative that means something wrong so i have to double check so finally my c is negative 3 and 6 this is the point whereby the end the ends meet each other at point C negative 3 6 all right so this is how you solve the horse question involving tangent and normal okay understand so I hope that uh, you will try to practice more horse question okay practice uh, more until you are confident keep on practice right so that you can be a perfect practice practice and practice you can be perfect scorer okay because we are, we are very careless so if we practice more we will reduce a careless mistake be cute P practice practice perfect scorer all right okay so that's all my sharing for today i really hope that my sharing will help you to uh, gain more confidence in solving the hot question. Alright, okay. Bye-bye and have a